The best thing I could ever do for me is love myself. significant message i'm sure this is sent from god to you <laughs> god sent me to deliver this to you so grab your popcorn grab your um cookies or whatever it is you take grab your soda if you're on a diet grab your broccoli your salad and let's get comfortable so today i'll be reading a verse of the bible I know not everyone watching my channel is a Christian, but I am a Christian, and if you're not, I guess you should believe in God one way or the other. And if you don't believe in God, I just hope that God convinces you, just touch your heart to be one, to be convinced that you can be a very close child of God because i'm a living testimony that god does wonders god has done a lot in my life so yeah i'll just be starting this with this verse here with me it's from the book of psalm in the bible and it's from chapter 139 verse 14. it says i will praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Now, this is from the New International Version. So, I'm here to tell you that you are the best version of yourself. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm a plus size activist yeah so growing up i've been on the big side i've always been called the fat kid um horrible horrible <laughs> as you about call it um i've just always been chubby growing up and i've just been tapped with that name and it really pulled my self-esteem. It, it really made me have that very bad self-esteem. I always felt inferior. I did not like, whenever I look into the mirror, I did, I did not just like what I saw. I just so, felt so bad about myself because people tell me you fat. So I associated that with a bad thing. Growing up, well, I've just been like that. I couldn't help it. I couldn't do anything about it. So, I started a journey when I got into university. I think, was it in my second year or my third year? I had this, um, well, that was when Instagram came out, I think. And I started seeing these plus size models. I'll give a shout out to Ashley Graham. I know she might not watch this video, but you, you never can tell. And like, I'm going places though. So I saw Ashley Graham. I think she was the first plus size model to grace the front page of a magazine then. And I was so impressed. And then I saw some other plus size models coming up, um, influencers and all. And I felt so, I began to grow my confidence. I began to love myself. I began to try to love myself, no, because it was a journey. I, I, I couldn't just do it at once. 
I began to try to love my thoughts, to affect my body, to affect the way I am. And um, it really wasn't an easy journey. It was not at all. I won't tell you it's an easy journey because the days you have doubts. Till then, I still have doubt. I still look at myself and, and I want to say something, but I'm like, no, girl, you look good. I'm gonna tell you, I still have that insecurity. Yeah, even though I'm out here talking about it, I still have that insecurity come up. But you know, the confidence I have now outweighs the the insecurity. I started accepting that look. God did not just make me like this for me, it feeling bad about myself. No. So what did I do? I accepted my body for the way it is, which is my first, the first step I would, I would like you to take. If you're on the plus side, accept you have that extra skin, you have that extra flesh. What the society thinks you should look like, accept that you can look like that. You don't have to follow what the society says. You have to look, look to impress yourself and impress the right people that you want to impress. You don't have to impress everyone. You don't have to make everyone accept you. Not, not, nobody is going to accept you. Not everyone will accept you. So you just have to do you. And so that's my first step. I started accepting that this is my size. So what do you do now? Look for clothes that complement your body size. Dress in appropriate ways and ways that you feel comfortable. Walk with confidence. Like, put yourself out. I'm the wrong person to say put yourself out there because I don't put myself out there. But then, just go out there with that confidence that this is me. Slim, um, chubby, plus size, um, a size 12, a size 14, a size 10, a size 0. You are human and you look good no matter the size. Just accept that. And um, secondly, block out people's opinion do not let people opinion bring you down try to make it sad so after i accepted myself of, for who i am there were certain people that still wanted to talk um call me fat or call me or say or tell me um yeah, adding too much weight or or say um are you you still eating? Can't you see your size? Like, excuse me, I'm gonna eat because food is what nourishes me. Food is what gives me good health. Food is also what keeps me alive, it's part of what keeps me alive, so I definitely gonna eat. If you tell me to stop eating, then you yourself, you have to stop eating. 50-50. So I had to start blocking out people's thought about me, which is very important. Because if you let people talk you down, I've been there. It's not a good place at all. It is not a good place at all. So don't let anyone talk you down. Please, do not. Um, another thing is, people have their own insecurities and they cannot, they just can't accept that they have those insecurities. They just try to project it on you. They just try to look for a way to project that insecurity to one person that is already there. Like, mm, she's down already, let me just give it to us to make her down. Oh, she's just there okay let me pass it on to her like they don't want to accept that they have that they don't want to accept that they have the problem they have that 
particular problem that they want to just transfer it onto someone else don't don't be that person a trash can for someone else to dump their garbage on no do not be that trash can make sure you ignore those negative talks from people if possible if possible cut them out of your life cut those people out of your life because if you keep having those people around you even though they say they will change some will change yeah i know people that change but then there are some that don't just want to change they will keep repeating that thing they will keep saying that word they will keep at that act and that is kill, gonna keep bothering you killing you inside so you have to cut them off your life cut them out of your life totally see there are a lot of people in this world you can be friends with you can keep as keep close to you you don't just need that person you don't need those particular people move on move on move on I'm gonna say that move on so just cut them out of your life okay? you have to realize that the way you look at yourself is the way others will look at you the way you carry yourself is the way others will carry you it's just the same way they say um, dress to the birds so um, when you love yourself others will also love you that way if you cannot accept that you are this uh, now let me not just be about um, because I'm plus size uh, I'm really talking about plus size but this is for everyone so I'm gonna use a slim person as an example let it not be because I'm slim because I'm slim they feel that some clothes are not going to sit well on me or because I'm slim this and that just different excuses and then you start um, thinking that that is how it is on you or that is how it is about you when you start accepting that that is it about you then people will keep bringing that thought and looking at you that way but when you say no when I wear this clothes I look good and then you walk out you dress in that clothes you dress up that clothes to your taste and to your satisfaction looking good and then you step out trust me people will turn and like hmm that girl looks good that guy looks good like people will be very impressed about that and it's make you make them love you more so don't let anyone tell you that no you're not looking good or something like that no just try to block people's words out of uh, people's words away and then you try to dress to impress try to love yourself try to love the way you are try to walk right try just make sure you're doing everything right about yourself this will bring me to what I started doing about myself. Now they associate, associate um, big people to being dirty. Growing up, that was what I thought, that anybody that is big, they associate them to being dirty. But that's a lie. If you want to be a dirty person, it doesn't matter if you're big or you're slim whatever size you are it's just you but that make me more conscious about myself it also helped me even that that thought also helped me i started making sure i took care of myself i invest i i, I got i got the right lotions for myself i got the right fragrance i got good fragrance not the right because i use different if you ask me today what fragrance do you have on i don't know because I just mix fragrance but I make sure I have I spray my body good make sure you clean up make sure you eat them right eat the right food I indulge a lot yes 
but I still make sure I have my detox tea, tea. I I still have my vegetables that I eat. I still eat healthy and clean. The days I want to indulge, I indulge. But still, I have this my I have my healthy meals that I eat. I eat right. I make sure I eat right. So make sure you eat right. Make sure you 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 indulge when you want to indulge but still make sure you eat right for good health now this is not just because i need to eat right this is so you can have good health so if you're healthy that is all that matters whether you're fat or you're slim as long as you're healthy that is the main thing that is what really matters make sure you have the right um the right dress on and make sure the dress is sitting properly on you Another thing you, you would like to do is accessorize if you do. Make sure you have the right accessories on. If you make up, make sure you make up good. Make sure you're living a good life. Make sure you're living an elder life. Make sure you're living a clean life. Make sure everything about you is okay. And please don't be bothered about what anyone has to say because you have to remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Now, if they want another version of you, they can go ahead and create it for all I care. Just look at the camera now. Now, look at this girl that is on the camera like this. <laughs> look at her. And tell me she's not beautiful. No, tell me she's not beautiful. Now that's for those that want to see rubbish. But for those that are looking at this beauty, they don't. <laughs> that's what I have to say. Not too much, but please like, share, subscribe, comment, da, la, la, do everything. Thank you and God bless you. Have a nice day. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, um, I, I hope you didn't finish the popcorn though. Did you? <gasps> you did? Oh well, that's good, that's alright. Catch you, bye.